My name is Leslie Neeby, and I am the president of Orange County Employees Association, representing the thousands of workers in the county who keep the community safe and healthy. In addition to my role as OCA president, I am a courtroom clerk three for the Orange County Superior Court. Like many of you who talk about previous jobs and attorneys and your future aspirations within the justice system, I'm proud of the role I play ensuring a fair judicial process is available to the public. This is why I am so profoundly shocked, disappointed, and angered by this board's recent action to walk all over the rights of county employees by breaking your word to us all. As you know, county workers recently spent six sessions bargaining with the county over ground rules. A judge has already ordered you to rescind a program that violates our rights. And yet, you have repeatedly told us, even sat in front of our board of directors and said that you wanted to work with us. So we entered into those discussions in good faith, hoping we could move past the damage created during the past several years. So we met with you six times and we reached an agreement on those ground rules. I have that agreement right here and would like to submit them for the record, which I've given to the clerk already. It says these ground rules apply to the 2015 negotiations and supersede the provision of coin ordinance, which the Board of Supervisors has declined to, I'm sorry, has decided to suspend. <clears throat> Your author, you authorized your negotiator to sign these ground rules, and this document is signed by the county's representative and by OCEA. When it came time to live up to your end of the bargain, you not only went back on your word, you did it in complete secrecy. You hid in closed session, refusing to even come out and take a vote on it, so we, your county workforce, would know where you stand. All of you have turned your back on us, and you have put political aspirations before county workers. You have put your own personal interests before the right and ethical thing to do. If any county employees had behaved in this way, we'd be fired. This is a mockery of justice. California law states that county employees have the right to bargain. We remain ready to do so under the ground rules we negotiated. And I also have additional copies I will leave here on the podium for the public in case they're interested in, in seeing that. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Next speaker, please. Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the Board of Supervisors, my name is Ian Flaster. Uh, I'm a senior land surveyor at Orange County uh, Public Works OC Survey. I have worked for the county since 1989. I'm proud to have responsibility for working directly with the public as well as supervising multi-million dollar uh, improvement projects uh, for roads, bridges, and bike trails, and more. Um, I'm also a proud member of Orange County Employees uh, Association's Board of Directors and California Land Surveyors of <coughs> Association throughout Orange County and the state of California. Um, I was introduced to civil service from my father who encouraged me to uh, uh, be involved with the Boy Scouts and, and, and the Cub Scouts at a very early age, uh, learning to serve the community and working together, that the experience also drove my desire to uh, be involved with OCEA. Um, I'm also personally uh, volunteering my time uh, to the Anaheim Ducks Youth Program for uh, underprivileged kids to learn ice hockey. I've been doing that for two years. I was so incredibly encouraged early this year to hear that the members of the board, as well as the CEO, that the county wanted to work with its employees and address some of the major issues confronting our communities together. Issues like the lack of service for the homeless population outside these walls, <clears throat> adequate staff for food safety inspections, and adequate sources of care for orphan pets at the animal shelter. Frankly, when the board last week didn't even bother to take the vote and instead hid behind closed doors to turn their backs on the county employees, I felt betrayed. I, have a champ <clears throat> I, want I don't have a champion on this board or among the county's leadership, and that's sad. Uh, we have a right to bargain with the county. We have an agreement that lays out the ground rules for that bargaining. A judge, even in his own lawyer, told 
all of you that you were doing the wrong thing and still you hid behind the closed session to turn your back on all of us. I know my eight-year-old son knows the difference between right and wrong. Tomorrow he starts third grade and it's too bad that nobody here will stand up and do the right thing. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Next speaker, please. What's up, board? My name is Sharon Anderson, and I'm an office specialist for the county, where I work for 34 years. I'm also a proud member of the Orange County Employees Association Board of Directors. I am here along with my colleagues representing thousands of workers who have been betrayed by failing <coughs> excuse me by failing to follow the law and your own promise and bargain with us in good faith. To add to that, you made the decision to betray us and to break the law behind closed doors, all in the name of transparency. We are urging you to do the right thing, to follow the law, your attorney's advice, a judge ruling, and your own words, and get to the bar excuse me, and get to the bargaining table as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Next speaker, please. Judy Bowling and Frank Ely. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the Board of Supervisors. My name is Judy Bowling. I'm a senior investigator for the Orange County Public Defender's Office. I have been a county employee since 1996. I'm also a member of Orange <clears> County <throat> Employees Association Board of Directors. Our justice system is based on equal treatment under the law, and that system works best when all parties have equal access to justice. So I am proud of my work for the county. Unfortunately, when it comes to this county, excuse me, unfortunately, when it comes to how this county treats its workers, and the rest of us in the audience, the concept of equal justice is non-existent. Here is an example. Your county workforce on a daily basis confronts a growing homeless population outside of these walls. County workers help the homeless connect them to the services they need. They walk in and amongst the mentally ill veterans and the homeless children. Some employees don't feel safe going out on breaks. Others are heartbroken by what's there and the lack of action. Last week, the CEO's office held a meeting for the county staff to address our safety. It was to teach us all how to be aware of our surroundings and how to report a crime. Meanwhile, the response to, to, excuse me, meanwhile, the response to protect each of you is completely different. None of you have to confront the realities all of us face coming to work on a daily basis. You get to park in a private garage and ride in a private elevator. You exit this meeting through a private door. And all of us who come in have to be screened through a metal detector. But the same isn't true for the buildings where many of us work. Equal treatment, equal justice does not exist here. So maybe all of us shouldn't have been surprised when this past week you turned your back on county workers again by breaking your promise to us and trampling over our rights under the law to bargain fairly with you. Just like you hide from the issues of homelessness outside, now you're hiding in closed session from your county workers. We are here today to challenge each of you to stand up and do the right thing. Live by the promises you've made. Support your county workers and our right to bargain. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next speaker, please. Mr. Ely, how are you? Good, <clears throat> Good. Chairman, members of the Board of Supervisors. I'm Frank Ely, business analyst with Orange County Public Works. I'm also past president 
of OCA, and I've been a county employee since 1982. You know, and Todd, you were there. We've been through the bankruptcy. Yeah, we've been through a lot, Frank. And, you know, that was kind of a sad time. The county was laying off a lot of women over 40. OCA fought that. I've been through Carlos Bustamante assaulting county workers, the cover-up that ensued after that. I've been here through layoffs, through attacks on our retirement security, most recently cost overruns from the sadly failed Xerox Atos $133 million project. You know, I've been here through some of the worst of times, but I've also been here where our partnerships between the county and its workers have made a real difference in our communities. Working together, OCA and the county, we were the first in the state to adopt a hybrid pension plan, the first. We, OCA and the county, saved the county a billion dollars by reforming retiree medical. So I can tell you from experience, we can do so much more working together than when we're at odds. Like all my coworkers, your county employees, through you know, penury and misery from 2008 to now, we soldiered on. And this county, throughout the tough times, even when we were not necessarily treated fairly by our employer. That's why now we're so disappointed that the board has hidden behind closed sessions and turned your backs on us now. You know, this morning I heard the platitudes of your invocation, protect our troops, we value our county employees. So really, I got a simple question for you. When will the board stand up for your employees the way you stand up for yourselves? The employees provide the service that keep our community safe, healthy, yet for the board, we are always your lowest priority, last in line. Today is no different. Unbelievably, the board is getting a pay raise, yet you have turned your back on the employees and are refusing to bargain with us. This is our right under the law. Supervisors pay nothing for their health insurance, county workers contribute. Board of Supervisors recently expanded their own staff and at a cost to $365,000. And the county, meanwhile, the county ranks are shrinking and there aren't even enough health inspectors to keep up with the growing demand for restaurants. The grand jury recently reported that OC Animal Care is 20% understaffed, resulting in animal neglect and abuse. The list goes on. So we're asking, do the right thing. Listen and live up to your commitments. If you won't listen to the judge, you won't listen to your own county council, and you won't listen to all of us, at least listen to your own words. The board, you made a commitment. Now live up to the bargain, live up to it and bargain with us. And let's get back to the place where we're doing great things together. Thank you, Mr. Ely. Next two speakers, Alicia Hernandez and Chris Previtt. Good morning. Good morning, Chairman and members of the board. My name is Alisa Hernandez, and I am a child support officer for the county. I work for the county for the past 27 years. I am a proud member of the Orange County Employees Board Association Board of Directors. I am here along with my colleagues representing the thousands of workers who you have betrayed by failing to follow the law and your own promise to bargain with us in good faith. To add to that, you made the decision to betray us and to break the law behind closed doors, <coughs> all in the name of transparency. We are urging you to do the right thing, to follow the law, your attorney's advice, a judge's ruling, and your own word, and get to the bargaining table with us as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Prevett. <clears throat> Good morning, members of the board, Mr. Chairman. My name is Chris Pravat, and I'm a program supervisor with the Orange County Healthcare Agency. I've been there for 18 years. That's where I work on projects that help keep our community safe from illness, chronic, and communicable diseases. I'm also a member of the Orange County Employees Association Board of Directors, and I'm standing here before you to talk about priorities, your priorities. Priorities like confronting serious problems, threatening the public safety and health of our communities. County services for the homeless and mentally ill are woefully un underfunded and unaddressed. Health code violations are going unchecked 
due to the shortage of inspectors. And the Orange County Grand Jury is, is reporting that the Orange County Animal Shelter is in need of repair and posing serious risk to human and animal health. Meanwhile, not only will all of you get a raise this year, you've expanded your staffs and given them raises as well. You found time to prioritize a party planner to coordinate and schedule your public events. Chairman Spitzer has even found time to prioritize recording a greeting, welcoming guests, and in increasing his voter ID at the John Wayne Airport. Mr. Chairman, can you manage, imagine how it must feel for the workers there to hear your voice each day, right after learning that under your leadership, this entire board will will be trampling over our rights to bargain with the county. We have the right that our grandparents' generation fought for and died for, a right to stand together and bargain with the county over wages and working conditions, to feed our families in exchange for the work that we provide each day. We have an agreement that lays out the ground rules for that bargaining, an agreement that you authorized and that is signed. A judge even, and even your own lawyer told you that you need to vote to suspend COIN and get to the bargaining table with us. Instead of prioritizing your commitment to your workers, you hid behind closed doors and decided to trample over our rights and go back on your agreement. And now you're avoiding a public vote. The thousands of county employees we represent are calling for this board to prioritize doing the right thing. Get your priorities straight and hold a public vote to uphold your agreement and get to the bargaining table with us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Brevet. Any other speakers, ma'am? The next two speakers, Pam Waters and Jennifer Muir. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, Mr. Chairman and members of the board, I'm going to take off my glasses so I can read my speech. Um, my name is Pamela Waters. I am a secretary for the Orange County Public Library. I have been a county employee since 1986, and I'm also a proud member of the Orange County Employees Association Board of Directors, where I have served for 22 years this month. Working for the library system, I love helping people. I believe that as a county worker, it's important to do my job with the utmost integrity. And I think it's not too much to ask to expect my bosses and my bosses' bosses to do the same. That's why it makes no sense to me or to any of my coworkers why you would go against your word and stand in the way of our right to bargain with the county. I was there when the county signed this agreement. Signatures. It says here that these ground rules apply to the 2015 negotiations and supersede the provisions of the COIN ordinance, which the Board of Supervisors has decided to suspend. And now I'm hearing you're not going to do that and you're not even going to have the decency to give us, your county workers, an explanation about why you won't live up to your word? That is not leadership. That is betrayal of all of us. And you have betrayed all of us. You, in our me you Todd, in our meeting room, committed to working with employees and now you are trampling all over our rights. Now you are breaking your promise. Now you are ignoring a judge and your own lawyers. Now is the time for you to do the right thing and keep your promises and stop hiding behind closed doors. I'm going to, I was going to continue under a personal note, but I think it's best I just sit down. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Ms. Muir. 
Mr. Chairman, members of the board, the leaders who you saw today, who stood up and spoke today despite being completely disrespected and intimidated and bullied by the chairman, those people represent thousands of county workers who come to work every single day for this county, who come to work every single day and make this county a great place. And I just have to say that your silence on this issue, the issue that everyone is speaking about today, on the issue of their right to bargain, of keeping your word, of failing to follow the law, that says, that says volumes to each and every one of them. So in case it isn't clear to anybody or any member of the public who is wa who's watching, this is what happened. The Board of Supervisors passed a program called COIN, which fundamentally changes how collective bargaining with employees work. A judge already told them that the program was illegal and ordered them to rescind it because aspects of it trample all over the rights our grandparents' generation fought and died for, for working people to stand together and have a seat at the table as equals with their employer to bargain. The board decided to appeal, so we agreed to negotiate some ground rules that actually added some transparency to the process while also preserving our right to collectively bargain while that appeal plays out. This board authorized your representative to agree to those ground rules, and we have a signed agreement. There's plenty more in case anybody else wants to see them. And in this agreement is a promise that you would suspend COIN so that we could get to the bargaining table and fulfill that right, that right that people fought and died for, that right to respect every single one of these people and all of the people who they represent to bargain with the county in good faith. And today, in the name of transparency, you decide to ignore that judge, to ignore your county council, and to break your promise. And in the name of transparency, you made all these decisions and had all these discussions behind closed doors. The hypocrisy in that, the hypocrisy to these people. In doing so, every single one of you has failed your responsibility as leaders, all of you, and in your job to support the workers of this county, because your job means supporting your county's most valuable assets, those workers, the employees. And we're not asking for anything except to get to the bargaining table with all of you and for somebody to stand up, to stand up and say it's not right. It's not right that we're blocking their rights. It's not right that somebody's bullying them, people who go to work every single day, who protect the public, who protect the safety net, who have the courage to stand up here in an environment that is designed to look intimidating and get bullied. That is ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. This county is lawless. When you guys don't like a law, you just don't obey it. And then you challenge the public, your employees, whoever it is that you're gonna sue. And who picks up the dime? Taxpayers pick up the dime. Thank you very much, Ms. Mayor. Every single one of Ms. you have Mayor. sent a message. I'm not getting down, so you can go ahead and have him take me really? out of here. I'm really, serious. Jennifer? Because you've had plenty of time up here to intimidate and bully them, and I am not letting that stand. Jennifer. I have about two more. I have about a minute left of comments, and no, I'm going to continue making Jennifer, your time is up. Sit down. Every Jennifer. single one of you have sent that message that your politics are more important right. than these people. We're, we're more important it. than the law. More we're important than integrity and Jennifer. ethics. No ethics. Where is the ethics? Jennifer. Every single one of you has the responsibility to stand up and call for a vote. Call for a vote. You have the right to do that, and no one has done it. Vote, 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 vote. At least don't sit up there in the name of transparency and blame each other for what happens behind closed doors. There is too much at stake. Not only are you completely trampling over everyone here's rights, this is a historic opportunity to turn around a county where the morale is in the toilet. Morale is in the toilet among these county workers and where the th everything is falling apart outside. The homeless, the restaurant inspectors. Well, you're focused on preserving your political position. You are presiding as the county falls apart and now you are running away from your county employees. You're running away from them. Stand up and do the right thing, face them. They've earned that much.